find it almost illogical to pick out one place and say I like this more than anywhere else. But I do have a particular affection for the Western Isles of Scotland. On a perfect day with decent weather, and especially with I've got three young children, and I would choose, say, uh, South Uist in the Western Isles, beaches in South Uist for a holiday destination because of the remoteness, uh, because of the, the otherworldly sense of them, big skies, big sea. Uh, it's like another world and yet it's so close to Scotland where I live anyway. Uh, I just feel a strong connection in my bones. And I don't know why, because my family aren't from the Western Isles, but I feel connected to them somehow. My favourite holiday destination is North Devon. Um, and I really like it because it's it's easy to get to. It only takes me a couple of hours from Bristol to get there. And so you can leave work on a Friday afternoon and just as the sun's setting, you'll be pulling up to a campsite in North Devon somewhere on a cliff with the sun setting over the sea. Wonderful. Well, that's a really difficult question. I suppose I have two. Um, one would be to take my boat. I have a nice old-fashioned wooden boat and to take it round the coast of Bristol Channel and round the south coast of England, um, stopping at all those lovely little fishing ports that you find. And I suppose if you had to ask me exactly where or what, if I had to be land-based, um, maybe Dartmouth on the south coast. I can remember some very, very happy holidays that we've, we've had there, sailing a dinghy in and out of those coves and estuaries on the south coast of Devon. Well, I'm a big fan of Wales, um, but particularly southwest Wales, Pembrokeshire. Um, the wildlife there is stunning. Uh, there's always, uh, all, all the time of all times of year, there's always something to see. So whether you want to go dolphin watching or seal watching or puffin watching, it's always brilliant bird life down there. Um, we've got a friends with a barn down uh, in a sort of the, the, the sort of bottom left-hand corner. It's about as far west and south as you can go. And we often just go there as a complete runaway retreat at a weekend just to be really quiet and calm um, and just uh, sort of experience the weather and, and the beautiful coastal paths. The walks there are amazing. There are lots of beaches there um, to take the family on. Now I've got a young family, I have to start thinking about these things. I have to keep the children amused. Um, and lots of nice pubs. And it's just a really, it's, for me, it's, it's only a couple of hours drive from home. Uh, and on a Friday night and I can just be somewhere else. I can wake up on a Saturday morning and, you know, just be in the middle of almost nowhere so I find it quite wild but it's not a million miles away from from sort of civilization. So. Um, I, I'm going to ask to be allowed to have two favourite holiday destinations because uh, when, when we go off for our holidays as a family we, we normally go camping but also we love sailing so um, one of my favourite holiday destinations is the Norfolk Broads. Uh, Norfolk Broads are our largest wetland in, in the British Isles and um, also the most threatened by sea level rise and climate change. They're one of the first bits the British coast is going to go. So they're particular treasures to me personally. It's where I grew up as well. So um, to go to Norfolk Broads where you can, you can paddle a canoe or we sail our boat there, and, uh, and you can see otters, um, you can, if you're lucky you'll hear a bittern booming right time of year, there'll be snowy owls hunting at dusk and uh, geese flying over at sunset, it's an absolutely magical place. Um, and Norfolk's famous for its enormous skies and it's absolutely true. When you're on a boat on the water, whether it's a canoe or a little sailing dinghy, you find yourself between these two planes, if you like, a plane of reflective water and a, this great reflective sky above your head, and there you are, suspended between the two on this water margin. And it's uh, a very, sounds a cliche, but it's a very otherworldly place to be. And I live in the middle of a huge city, London, so to go to Norfolk Broads is a very special uh, uh, place to escape to. Now, the other place I'd like to go on holiday, well, my other favourite holiday destination, is, is the northwest coast of Scotland, and uh, where we go camping particularly up in the area known as Ascent in the far northwest, where you have the huge mountains like uh, Suilvan, Canisp and uh, Foynarvon, uh, Stack Polly. So go and climb some mountains, uh, maybe do a bit of canoeing on the coast, uh, live in the tents and uh, watch the weather coming in out of the Atlantic. A uh, bit of fishing maybe, a bit of mackerel fishing, hang a line over the end of the canoe and uh, have a kind of Robinson Crusoe style adventure.